Hello, great people. Welcome back to our channel. We're so excited to have you again. Some few months ago, the Southern governors unanimously agreed to quell the crisis that have been going on in terms of haters, you know, going after farmers and also their property. And for that reason, they had to accept or come to a resolution that all the 17 states will have to pass uh, a law on anti-open grazing. And it was unanimously accepted, but still some few states are yet to do that. But shockingly, those states is still not, he has not passed it, um, that the governor has not passed uh, anti-open grazing bill. And fairly recently, he has made the president to talk about the issue of the livestock farming, which most people had declined considering some of the provision, and they believe that it's of no real benefit to the state itself. Uh, everything has to revolve around creating ranches, you know, for uh, the haters. But shockingly, uh, he, he has met with the president, and that discussion has triggered a lot of uh, reactions from Edo people. Now, you will see a very renowned group in Edo state speaking up against him and uh, uh, laying emphasis on what they consider as betrayal, and they have posted seven que some few questions for him to answer before they know his standpoint when it comes to the issue of ranching and the livestock farming, which was about to be introduced by the federal government. We're going to be looking at all of this in a jiffy, but before we do that, if you're not subscribed to our channel, kindly hit the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you get notification anytime we publish our video. The Edo Civil Society Organization, Edo School, yesterday accused Governor Godwin Obaseki of betraying the trust of the Edo people by embracing the National Livestock Transformation Plan of the federal government against the agreement of the southern state governors who in Asaba Delta State agreed that the 17 governors should enact laws to ban open grazing. Briefing journalists in Benin City, the interim chairman of Edosco, Bishop Osadolo Oche, proposed a minimum of six months imprisonment as penalty for defaulters of anti-open grazing law. Observing that haters to farmer clash has become a national discourse in the past few years, which has led to several deaths and food scarcity in the country, Oche said pastoral farming is a private venture and must be conducted in a manner that other citizens' rights are not infringed on, adding that the movement of cattle to openly graze on farmlands or to constitute nuisance should be prohibited in the 21st century. The Edo State Governor on the 11th of May 2021, alongside other 11 out of 17 governors under the ages of governors of southern Nigeria, met in Asaba to issue a communique on open grazing ban. It was a unanimous decision by the governors to address the high rate of insecurity open grazing has posed in the region. To that extent, a do state cannot unilaterally disassociate itself from such a unified agreement. It amounts to a betrayal of confidence and would lead to inertia on the part of other southern states for future collaboration geared towards mutual and collective benefit in the region. Furthermore, the Edo state government decided to hold a town hall meeting on the 11th of October 2021 for the deliberation on the proposed anti-open grazing law after pressures from citizens and critical stakeholders. It was agreed by all that the ban on open grazing is a prerequisite to putting a total end to the header stroke farmers' clashes and other criminal activities associated with it. Never during the meeting did the governor inform participants of his intention to meet with President Muhammadu Buhari for a state to key into the National Livestock Transformation Plan, which was initially cognamed Rural Grazing Area, that's Ruga. The concept is for the federal government to create reserve as ranches for pastoralists that will serve as settlement for haters in states that subscribe to the plan. Several states have rejected the plan because they felt cattle rearing is a private business venture and should be left for the private investors to build ranches themselves instead of creating another community or colony of haters in states. 
the fear for future claim to such colonies which could lead to a communal clash. Oche did say. He therefore admonished the state the Edo State Governor, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, to give Edo people details of his meeting with President Muhammadu Buhari. Besides, he urged the governor to clear the A on the following question whether the Edo State Governor or government have data of owners of cattle that graze the state. If the federal government is releasing funds to individuals that own cattle to build ranches, or the federal government intends to acquire reserves for themselves. Had a do state government trained or planned to train indigents on the practice of managing and tendering cattle in ranches or the same crop of oc- occupational headers are still going to be engaged. A do school also demanded that a do state should promulgate a law to prohibit open grazing of cattle with stiff punishment for violators and that all cattle owners must ranch their cattle that it is not the business of government to provide land for cattle owners and that a unit of the Edo State Vigilante Network should be duly trained, paid and deployed in enforcement of the law with support from the Nigerian police force. Any cattle owner that allowed his cattle to graze on a farmer's land or destroy any property should be made to serve a jail term not less than six months and pay compensation to the farmers whose farm is destroyed. He should also stand the chance of forfeiting the cattle to the state government. The prohibition on sorry, the provision of colonies to cattle owners should be discouraged. Every cattle owner should purchase stroke leased land for ranching and or any other farming operation. Wow. Now th- this issue has triggered a lot of reaction because when this whole stuff happened um uh, basically going to meet the president on the issue of ranching it was a shock to most people because there were no signs pointing to that direction but however before we go on with further analysis let's just look at what nigerians have to say about uh, the resolution of a dosku and some of the questions they have thrown at uh, the governor of the state obasiki this one says here i hate to hear farmer haters crisis even professors of english use it showing how far the colonization agenda has gone. It is headers. <laughs> wow, this is really, really funny. See, it is headers attack, not uh, headers to farmers' classes. Someone comes with cows to eat up your crops in your farm, and you are being <laughs> laid down for asking why. Then you say it is crisis. Haba. Another person says, yeah, my brother, you are right. They allow themselves to be hoodwink as if they don't know what is going on. It can never be crisis because one trespasses into another person's property or farmland and you try to speak, they come after you. This one says, I thought the fellow was a strong governor, but I was wrong. The do people will surely make him pay for everything he is doing. This one says, keep thinking or thoughting. Time has taught me that the best governor or president in this country is just you. Now you know yourself. <laughs> wow, that's absolutely true. This one said, you are enemy of progress. This program designed based on all stakeholders' interests and opinion. Now you are t- talking sentimentally. And that's another person coming from a different direction. And someone said, what is your business with that? Are you from a state? He wants to don't mind him. He is just there to give his own idea, which is not meaningful to us. Um, this one says he does not care over the suffering of Edo people, what they are going through in the hands of these haters. You will regret what you have done. So many responses here. This one says Oba of Benin and the good people of Edo State must reject this. Obasiki wants to turn Edo State into plateau. This must be resisted. The time to act is now. Now one says, yeah, if you vote for Basiki and you are still complaining about him, you are like him. The same thing he did to the Oba of Benin after coming to conclusion that he had concurred with the Oba's decision, he went behind and formed another name of fame where the antifact is going to be kept at the end. He went and involved Lai Muhammad. That's why those antifacts are still with the federal government. His great-grandfather was a betrayer to Oba. 
that led to his deportation to Calabar in 1897, so I am very sure that he is the reincarnation of his great-grandfather, that that spirit of betrayal is still floating in his vein. Hmm. So much reaction here. This one says, when you compromise evil against the people that voted you into power, you will forever live to face the music. So many reactions from Nigerians. I mean, this whole issue can be quelled down with consulting with the people and ensuring that you carry them along. Don't forget that they are the ones that voted you into power. But I won't want to speak much. Let me give you an opportunity to go to our comment section. Clicking into what uh, the governor of uh, Edo State have done. Do you think it's a form of betrayal for the Edo State people? Let's interact in our